I'm going to do a little bit of cleaning up on this chassis and uh, I thought I'd show you something I think is kind of neat. This is uh, cadmium plating and all I've done so far is just blow off and brush off the loose dust and dog hair. Uh, I've discovered that if you want to clean this down to nice shiny metal, uh, an easy way to do it rather than washing this down and polishing it and so on is leave it dirty and use a little of a, uh, use a little um, of this liquid rust stripper. I like the navel jelly which is that pink goo. This is fairly liquidy uh, and it's a combination of phosphoric and hydrochloric acid. I think the phosphoric acid actually breaks down the cadmium oxide and uh, cleans up really fast so check this out. This transformer it turns out is plated as well. So if I just put a little bit on Brush it around, and you can see it. It's like using Tarnax, where it's just immediately all the crud, all the oxidations go on, and bam, just like that. Nice and clean. Uh, so after that, um, I'll use a little bit of uh, Cinechrome Metal Polish to uh, give it a final uh, final shine. A uh, couple things I should mention though, is that cadmium uh, is somewhat toxic you may have heard about it in the news and uh, there, was, there was some uh, some kids jewelry that was coated with cadmium that caused a big uh, ruckus it, it is it is toxic it is poisonous so uh, wash your hands after you do this and it's not a bad idea to wear some plastic gloves while you're doing this too to protect your hands um, also when you're using this stuff be really careful whether you use navel jelly or this liquid rust stripper be very careful to not get it into the contacts or even get these wafers wet because uh, it can break them down and once these get wet uh, I could also have some arcing problems they're real pain to dry out and once the arcing stops uh, oftentimes you have to end up replacing the entire uh, socket because it develops carbon tracks um, and also if you can uh, it's nice to take this apart like this uh, but, uh, Sometimes the transformers it's held on with a screw and you can loosen it off and take the clamshells off but now in this case it's riveted on so I'm just going to have to do the best I can with it being in place. Uh, yeah, this, is still slipper. Yeah. <laughs> this works fairly well on the aluminum too so uh, I'll try that out. Let's do a small test spot. Yeah it's looking pretty good. Alright, so this whole thing should polish up real nice. Something else I did was I put a few drops of oil on every bearing point I could find on this tuning capacitor. It's rotating a bit more smoothly now. Alright, I'm going to get back to cleaning and uh, I'll pick up when I've got this uh, nicely polished up. I've been at it for a couple hours and uh, it's coming along very, very nicely. This plating is in really good condition. There's a few uh, pits in it here and there and uh, a little bit of staining here and there, but otherwise uh, it's working really well. This transformer, I think, looks like phenomenal. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a lot of work, but definitely worth the effort, I think. Uh, these cans shine up really nice, too. Uh, so, after the acid treatment, what I did is I used Simichrome, which is fantastic stuff. It, uh, it's kind of like pinkish toothpaste. Uh, what you do is you squirt a little bit onto a soft cloth. You uh, polish it on, or rub it on a, a bit. Uh, and then take a clean area of the cloth and buff it out. Uh, so Kind of like wax, I suppose. Uh, it works on brass, copper, aluminum, uh, cadmium, obviously. Chrome, silver, virtually any metal according to the directions here. Uh, I've never seen this in a store. Um, I ordered this from one of the restoration supply uh, websites, but I have since noticed uh, it's on eBay. Uh, many, many vendors selling it, uh, sometimes an individual tube, or it comes in much larger containers, or I sell a dozen tubes. Uh, so. Uh, it's, it's the easiest place to get it, I think. 
uh, tube this size, 1.76 ounces, I think it was about 10 bucks or so. And a little bit goes a long way. Um, I've barely used any of this and I've polished up quite a bit of stuff. So even doing this entire radio is barely going to make a dent in this supply. Uh, so yeah, so, uh, like I said, it's tedious, time consuming, especially in the nooks and crannies, but uh, wow, you know. Here's an area that hasn't been done. You can see how cruddy it looks and uh, how nice and shiny this is. I hope you found these uh, tips useful. And uh, check out uh, one of my other videos uh, on, on chassis restoration if you want to see some more tips on this stuff. That's all for now.